Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lewontin, and in your fix of entertainment news today, a title is forged for the Lord of the Rings show, King of the Hill returns, and the Justice League is going to die. Let's drop it. Now, the title for Amazon Prime Video's Lord of the Rings show has finally been revealed, and it's the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Yeah, there's a whole lot of thes and ofs and rings. Not the most elegant of titles, yes, but it does promise something that should get Tolkien fans very excited for what's ahead. Now, showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay explained the meaning of the title in a statement saying, quote, the rings of power unites all the major stories of Middle-earth's second age, the forging of the rings, the rise of the Dark Lord Sauron, the epic tale of Numenor, and the last alliance of elves and men. Also adding, quote, until now, audiences have only seen on screen the story story of the One Ring, but before there was one, there were many. And we're excited to share the epic story of them all. Now, the title announcement video showed off hot liquid metal being poured into a mold to spell out the new title, and the voiceover spoke the familiar words heard at the start of the first Lord of the Rings movie, talking about the three rings for the elves, the seven for the dwarves, the nine for men, and of course, the one to rule them all. That that's an awful lot of rings. I don't even know if we have enough fingers for how many rings there are. And while we do know what happened to some of them, like the men ring bearers becoming the Nazgul, there's still plenty of mystery surrounding the rest. Now, some of the rings were lost to history, so you know this show is creating new lore that may finally reveal the answer to mysteries Tolkien fans have been wanting for decades. Now, the Rings of Power takes place in the Second Age, thousands of years before the events seen in the movies, but you won't have to wait that long, not thousands of years, nope. The series premiere drops on September 2nd, 2022. Oh, and that title reveal? I mean, can we talk about that title reveal? It wasn't CGI, it was all practical. How cool, or should I say hot, is that? Anyway, how do you feel about the title for The Rings of Power? Let us know in the comment section down below. And now it's time for the return of the king, but we're not talking about the Lord of the Rings anymore. Nope. Blah. The beloved animated series, King of the Hill, is set to return to the small screen 25 years after its debut. Yeah. Now that's right, y'all. Can y'all believe this? This is gonna be amazing. We're gonna be hearing about propane and propane accessories. Yes, according to The Hollywood Reporter, original series creators Greg Daniels and Mike Judge are bringing the show back and they're doing it with a new animation company they created called Bandera Entertainment. Now the co-creators didn't divulge any details on the returning series, but last year, writer Brent Forrester did tease that it would pick up 15 years after the events of the series finale that aired back in in 2009. Now, hard to say what Hank Hill and his friends and his family might be up to, but we sure will see what Bobby Hill is up to 15 years later. That means he'll be an adult. Uh, good Hank, who was Hank Hill's baby brother, is probably gonna be a teenager, and we'll probably see Hank Hill hanging out with his half-brother that he met all the way in Japan. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm actually looking really, really forward to this and seeing what they're up to in the fictional town of Arlen, Texas for all that time. I don't know what they might do, but they're definitely gonna be doing a lot of drinking and standing around and just cutting grass and saying, yep. Anyways, if there's anything you wanted to tell the members of DC's Justice League, now's that time because the upcoming Justice League number 75 will tell a story called The Death of the Justice League. Now, Entertainment Weekly broke the news with an interview with series writer Joshua Williamson, who revealed that the story starts with the League going off into space to battle the Dark Army, but only one member returns alive. Now, the team roster includes 10 members. You got your Supermans, your Batmans, Wonder Womans, Green Lantern, Jon Stewart, Martian Manhunter, Hulk Girl, Aquaman, Green Arrow, Black Canary, and Zatanna. But 
If we had to pick just one that is most likely to survive, of course, it's got to be Batman, right? Come on now. Dude's got a movie coming out very, very soon. He's got to make it to that red carpet or dark carpet, dark night carpet. I don't know, man. Anyway, Williamson explained how this death of the Justice League story is mirroring the death of Superman story from 30 years ago, where it happened in Superman number 75, and then there was no Superman comic for months. And to pay homage to that iconic story, after Justice League number 75, there will be no Justice League for a very long time. Now, the death of Justice League drops on April 19th. And that about does it for your Fix of Entertainment news today. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Now that you're all caught up on today's news, please go check out our previous video. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN.